Want to go for a walk? Want to go for a walk? Okay, let's go. What's up? Good morning. First thing. Take my dog for a walk. Uh, so yesterday I kind of fumbled the whole vlog thing. So I don't know what I'm going to throw together. But by this point, there'll either be something online or there won't be. But I only really recorded like a couple of things. Yeah. I don't know. It happens. I'm cool with it. Uh, so today, don't know what I'm going to get up to, but I'll do something, that's for sure. Anyways, let's go. what's up everyone um, yeah had a bit of a rough day today so after walking my dog I got back I was planning on doing a bunch of stuff but uh, for whatever reason my blood sugar went really low and it's like a really shitty feeling kind of ruins your day and uh, that happened so then I was thinking like oh I had no drive to really do anything but then I got over that and because I got over that, I decided to make something. Let me show you. You know how I like doing time lapses. You see that? You can barely see it moving. Well, anyways, I just threw that together. It's an RC car time lapse rig. I need to figure out how to mount my SLR to it. But basically, what I did was. There'll be a bunch of clips here. I took out the RC car motor. Um, it's right here. And took off the gear. And then I had this stepper motor. Which stepper motors are like motors that are able to do one, do like one percentage of rotation each time you tell them to. Which is different than a DC motor or an AC motor because those you just give them a pulse and like they start going but a, a stepper motor will only move that one per pulse you give them so that means you can make them go really slow so I had a stepper motor but the shaft on it was too big so I filed it down to fit the gear that was on the original motor and then from there I wrote a really short Arduino program really easy it's just basically having four digital pins and then setting one of them high each interval that's how that specific stepper motor works because they've already got a driver a little board that runs them so it's just trucking along and uh, I can change the speed but right now I'm just testing it out I've got the one my one camera doing a shot that I will show you in just a second and then we will go out and I'll get some a whole bunch of rolling time lapses and that's probably going to be it for today. It's a really sketchy put together. I literally did it in like less than an hour and it's working. So that's all I care about is that it works. It doesn't have to look pretty. So before I leave, I actually decided to add one more function. I added the little uh, Bluetooth device here and that way I can change how fast it goes. Right now it's pretty much at the max. So if I want to slow it down see here I will send let's say 20 milliseconds per step and then that you can see the lights going a different right there now it's going much slower now if I set a hundred super slow let's go get some cool night moving time lapses do a whole bunch it's only 10 o'clock we can get a bunch of like traffic and then that'll probably be it let's go do that
So I've got a couple of time lapses so far. Super busy out here. Lots of people traffic, which is great, but also annoying because it's just a lot of loud students. But that's okay, they're just having fun. It's Sunday night. Lots of rowdiness. Hope these turn out. It might be a little bit rocky, I don't know, we'll see. All right, that was cool. On to another location. Let's go. cool out, but the camera's getting really hot. This one keeps telling me it's overheating. I showed that before. It hasn't thermally shut off before, and I'm not about to stop this time lapse. But I'm really tempted to put a little fan in there. I keep saying that. That'll be another project for sure. Once this time lapse is over, that'll probably be it for tonight. All right, everyone, that was it for tonight. Turned a pretty terrible day into an all right day, so that's always a good thing. I'm really happy with how the time-lapse rig worked out. I'll throw a couple of parts links in the description, but uh, really, it's not really a how-to. It's just to show that this is one way of doing something. This car had been sitting around, I used it for a project in my undergrad and uh, then it just sat around for a long time so I thought I'd do something with it. And really cool, I might improve the motor mount, right now it's just zip tied with a bunch of like pennies stacked behind it for weight, which was also a good thing because the pennies were like a heat sink because it kept the motor cool which was actually pretty awesome because it was starting to warm up after the long ones. If there's one thing I might improve, it's the gear ratio, so I might design a different gear. And I'll probably design a proper mount, maybe a different motor. Because this seems to work really well, and I could actually improve it to a point that it could be part of my equipment for doing, you know, cars and stuff like that. I'll throw some links to the parts in the description. And I hope you enjoyed that, and those time lapses. They're pretty cool. Anyways, as always, everyone, be good and have a good night.